Hi everyone watching, this is yet again another video of the fish room. Today is receiving day, or one of the receiving days that we have here currently in the fish room. Uh, we are currently going to be working on some of the saltwater fish. I want to show you how we receive them in. Um, these are one of the one of my favorite uh, shipments that come in. This is from Quality Marine, uh, and they actually put quality into what they do. Uh, so when we open up these boxes, I did open this up just to kind of get a quick glance, and that way I'm not using my knife and stuff like that. But they have insulated bags. This is a very important thing that they need to have mainly because of the fact that when temperatures start to swing, we want to make sure that the, you know, the fish are going to be okay when they're going through shipments. So with our insulated bag, there's also another component that's very important, heat packs. Heat packs or cold packs are also very important. As if it's winter time, we want to make sure that these fish are going to stay warm. So we'll put a heat pack inside of the boxes for them. Now, when we do open up these boxes, First thing we're gonna be doing is looking at what the species are. So these are the sailfin algae, uh, algae blennies. So these guys are gonna be eating a lot of the different types of algae. It's gonna be a great sand sifter, uh, and these are gonna be a great addition to the tank. So as we set these guys off to the side, we are gonna organize them, making sure that we have a certain amount of these guys that are gonna be currently uh, put in stock. So we're gonna just run through these. As, we have, as you can see, a lot of the sailfin blennies right here in this box specifically. They can be scattered about within all of the other ones. We got some starfish, like our brittle green starfish. If you guys are curious on when we get freshwater shipments as well, we get those also on Wednesdays. So if you ever come in on a Wednesday, be patient. We are acclimating them into our system. We'll have them ready within the next hour or two. We just want to make sure that they are going to be okay. For saltwater fish specifically as well, we like to give these guys at least 24 hours in our system to make sure that they're also okay. Uh, we, wanna, we want to make sure that these guys are healthy enough so when they go inside of your tank, they're not going to crash your tank. You're going to have a nice and healthy fish. Alright, so now that we're over here by the fish that are already inside of these styros, uh, we are going to make sure that they're going to get drip acclimated properly into our systems. Now when it comes to these styros, you are going to see lids on top of them. Try not to disturb these guys. These guys just came from a long ride. We want to make sure that they're going to be as healthy as possible. So we want to limit uh, the amount of stress that is introduced to these. Uh, so if you ever see styrofoams inside of salt water, just walk by them. You'll be able to see these fish tomorrow and, uh, when we do have them in the system. Now, when we do have them over here, first things that we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have our drip acclimating kit. So our little system right here, which is gonna have our rubber hosing, our inline tubing, and a drip stopper. Uh, this right here is the important part. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can always make yourself a small knot inside the line. Make sure the knot's not too tight or anything like that. It's gonna be the exact same effect. So what you'll do is, is you'll tighten it down until you get about maybe one to two drops per second. Now, I'll also show you that while using the actual acclimator themselves. Before cutting them open, I like to do this. So what you'll do is, is you'll actually submerge the actual hose lining into the water. Make sure all the air bubbles are out. Once all the air bubbles stop flowing like how it is right now, what I'll do is, is I'll actually leave the line inside the water, the tip part, and pull out the end. And once this comes down, water will start to flow, as you can see. Now you don't want this to flow like how it is now. You want to bring it down to one to two drops per second. So I'm going to try and dial this in right there so this is about how much water you want to flow out of it one to two drops per second once that's inside of there we cut open our bags this box particularly is going to have dividers inside of it there are going to be certain species of fish that may not go super well together so we try and separate them in the box themselves prior to them going inside the aquarium so we pour him in toss that out Pour the next one in, toss that out. Once I have these guys dripping and it starts to drip, I will actually cover them up. Now, if there isn't enough water volume that is inside of this uh, box, this one particularly only has two fish in it. What I like to do is I like to make sure I give the box a little bit of a tip or a tilt. That tilt is gonna actually have them fully submerged inside of the water. That makes sure, that's making sure that these guys are gonna be submerged the whole time and they're not gonna be introduced to the oxygen or the air or anything else. If you have any questions about anything at all, you guys can feel free to comment down below about what we need or what we have or what we use. Uh, and we'll definitely give you guys that information. 
Like I said prior, we do sell these kits here in our store, so you can always purchase one of these, or you can rig one yourself if you have some inline tubing by creating that knot fixture inside of it as well.